Hello, this is Clawpaw321. Today's tutorial is 023 or 23. And we're going to be going over how to destroy a session. It's literally called session destroy, but you kind of have to have it started first. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this. Sorry, my laptop's lagging. And I'm going to say for once um, session create or not create start and do that and I'm going to go home and copy now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this and I have two other files log in and log out um, and you'll see why in a bit so I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to put this in there and save it now uh, what if I wanted to say um, like have a link and say uh, rather I'm going to say if the session um, see is logged in and I save that once it stops lagging and if I go ahead and say echo uh, Yes, you are logged in. Hoo -hoo. And then I uh, do that. And then if I say else, um, I can say echo. Uh, click and then A and then href. And then I'm going to do this escaped link to login.php. Question mark. L equals one just for the reason of it. And then uh, end that. And then click here and then end that and do that. I'm going to save it and in here we're going to see of course oh yeah I want to put in something more to log in save okay so I see you click here to log in well um, if I did that then it takes me to login.php which doesn't have anything in it yet so I'm going to go here and I'm going to say if Dawson underscore request um, L equals and then uh, I say one and I'm going to change this to an integer and then I'm going to go here and say echo you have been logged in click and then I'm going to do this again but back to the original file to go back to the main page and I'm going to say else um, echo you fail and save and I got to put that there now you can kind of think that of course you know it's um, my L is going to be set to one of this link but if I take it out of course if I say it's two or something I echo I say Oh, I spelled you fell wrong with uh, that. I'm going to put that there. Refresh. Yay, now it says I fail. If I did one, it says you have been logged in. But of course, I haven't really, I've only said that, but it doesn't really happen. So I'm going to go and set this session um, of is logged in to one and save and refresh. And I'm going to click here. And it says yes I am logged in so uh, we've gotten that far and of course this is not with a password system or anything we can work on that later now uh, if I put this here and I go here and uh, say to log out because we're going in the logout file and save that there and what I want to do here is use that destroy function I was talking about session destroy and I'm going to close that and I'm going to say um, I'm going to copy this paste here and I say touch023.php to go back back to the main page 
and save. Now, I'm going to go here and actually provide a link to log out and click href equals escape that and go to logout.php escape this here to log out and save now I'm gonna refresh this here uh, that's not what I want wait yeah that's right I'm on the tutorial 3 uh, 23 page now so yes you're logged in and click here to log out okay click here to go back to the main page okay see now it knows that I've logged out because I've destroyed my information of being logged in so I click here to log in and it says yes I've been logged in click here to go back to the main page I'm back at the main page and um, so what if I went back to uh, to log in to PHP do that it's gonna say I fail well let, let's do another if um, and see if uh, this and I'm gonna do an int here and do else and do this and the echo hey you're already log logged in and save and now it should say that I am already logged in see uh, and I'm gonna put in a link to go back so I'm gonna copy here and I'm going to paste here So now I've kind of shown that um, this login file that logs you in is checking if it's uh, if there's no L thing if I am or not and if I go here and log out and then I go back to log in.php it's gonna say I fail really simple on that matter and if I go back to here and do a print R of the session you'll see that there's kind of a little identifier in it. And save. And I go back to here. Now, let's see here. Log out. Click on my page. And you can see that it has this array here because um, the session is already by default an array. <coughs> but, um, but like, uh, like if I go here and logged in and then I go back now you can see that it has that variable if I go here and log out and go back to the main page it's got nothing that's kind of what I mean by identifier um, is this uh, one single variable that I put in kind of showing that it exists and it doesn't exist after uh, I destroy it and uh, if you want to um, unset a variable or kind of erase a variable you can do unset um, and then the variable name there uh, I'll probably get into that later on in a different tutorial uh, just a hint of what could happen next time and uh, that's it for today if you got any questions suggestions or comments um, come and visit my site and use my contact form to send me a message please subscribe to my channel if you like my tutorials I plan to do one every single day and I don't know if YouTube will let me do longer videos or not. I hope they would if I get enough. I don't think I ever will. But um, I always like seeing your support. For the next uh, recap tutorial, you'll probably see me do that game that I was talking about that my friend made. And it's only using what I've already shown you thus far. And that's it for today. Signing off. Clop, clop, three, two, one.